Hi Virgo, it's the Horror Stars with the Loom Astrology and Tarot doing your update reading. Um, this is just until the end of the month, so it's going to be short. Just kind of if there's any updates or any messages coming through for you guys before I do the July of 2023. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Don't forget to click the bell to get notified of my uploads as they come. This is kind of just an overview, energetic reading of what's to come until the end of the month. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be love or what it's going to be, so hang in there. Um, check out your rising and your moon sign also for more. And for a personal reading, you can text me at 818-839-1116. All right, Virgo, let's get started. Please give me the most accurate messages for Virgos, sun, moon, or rising from now until the end of the month. Virgos. All right. Please give me the most accurate message for Virgo. What does Virgo have to count? Whoa. Whoa. All right. So there's some sort, sort of like sense of urgency going on here. Some of you guys are like really want to find out about something or there's some sort of urgency going on. There might be something that pops up that you got to handle really quick or there is somebody else feeling a sense of urgency with you. We're going to clarify this. Um, we got the all that glitters. This means there's something that's going on that maybe you might think might be better than it actually is. And this could be a person, a place, a situation, a job opportunity. It's going to be different for all of you because it's, you guys are not all involved in the exact same situation with the exact same person. Thank God. We're going to take a look and see what that's about. And then we got chop wood, something that requires some work. Okay. And I feel like some of you are really cleaning house on some things and really starting to really take a closer look at stuff and seeing what you need to get rid of and maybe seeing a little bit more of the flaws and the, the things that are wrong here. Okay. With chop wood, I feel like it's about refining and, 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 and seeing refining your life in some way, cleaning house, cleaning house too. Okay. And then we got time to go. All right, but she's really excited to go. She's like running up that stairs through that door over there because there's an opportunity that's going to present itself or has that you need to jump on, okay? There's also could be possibly a situation that you need to just book out of there, okay? We're going to take a look and see what this is about. Again, these are short readings, so it's just, I'm just clarifying these cards. All right, tell me about the TikTok for Virgos. What is this about? Some sort of decision that you have complete control of, okay, with the magician. It means you got everything it takes to make the situation work or do whatever you want. Of course, we do in the laws of manifestation with our thoughts, our heart, our mind, our speech. We can speak things into existence. So whatever situation that you're feeling pressured on or pressed on, you have what it takes to get through it. It appears to be about somebody being a money monger, okay? Somebody's being a money monger, somebody's holding on to their money, or it's a situation regarding money here, okay? We got a nine of cups, which is a person that's got it all more than necessary to give um, or to be generous, but they tend to be, but coming in with this card, it's like they're not being that way. They're holding back, they're holding on, they're not, now, some of you, if this is a love interest that you're feeling like you gotta hurry up and make a decision about, or or they're pressuring you and you're feeling pressured, um, but they're not expressing themselves or opening up to you, okay? It's gonna be different again for all of you here, but this is somebody holding on to the money. It looks like some of you have to make a decision about this, and it could be something that you're working together in collaboration with somebody, okay? It's definitely the Three of Pentacles is you're working in collaboration with somebody that's holding back on the money or being a money monger, um, some of you, it's a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Sun, moon, or rising. That you got it, that you're feeling a lot of pressure regarding this person and the situation. And it's like something the TikTok is saying, you know, 
take care of this, handle this situation. Okay, you got everything that it takes to do it. Um, before it, before the TikTok is up. Okay, so it may be a decision you got to make quickly about something, or this person is really causing you pressure. They're really, the situation is causing you pressure. We got all that glitters again, which is something that you may be thinking it's more than what it actually is, or it appears like it's really, really good, but you got to be careful. Okay. Um, Wow. Okay, so this is definitely regarding a love partnership or a relationship. Okay. Um, we got the star card in the reverse. So either it's with an Aquarius that's that's not showing up, that's not acting right or, or whatnot, or it's a hope and a wish of yours that could potentially, or it's something, okay. The star card with the all that glitters card in the reverse is that you need to be cautious about this because this is something that you might be overly helpful for which i really don't believe in that to be quite honest because manifestation you can make it what you want and i don't want to cause fear into anybody here okay um just be positive about the situation but kind of check it out don't go in with any negative expectations okay even though it's showing you this um, but it's showing that you're hoping for something that it may not turn out that way. Okay. Now use that to gear your mind towards it will turn out that way. Okay. Because it looks like it's regarding a really good partnership or a brand new love interest. Okay. So maybe Be sure to ask questions and to, to, to see where it's going and get real, be real about it. Like, don't just, don't just, um, don't tiptoe around. Okay. Um, this card often reminds me of Neptune energy where it's like illusions and delusions and nobody ever wants to question each other based tiptoeing around each other because it's such a fantastical mystical connection so to speak and there may be more going on there than you know it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad but it means that you need to you need to cl get clarity like don't don't be afraid not to ask those deeper questions like what do you really want where is this going you know um just like like there's a tiptoeing around meaning that there may be something going on there that you're not aware of or that you're not asking the right questions to find out like avoiding tiptoeing around Come on. now if this is not your situation don't make it your situation okay if you have a feeling or an inkling of this then you're just being told to really get clarity on it because it's like you're maybe idealizing something, okay? Um, some of you, it is regarding a business partnership or regarding some money, okay? And some of you have been very stressed out about this. Some of you, it's been on your, it's been on your mind. Some of you, it is a business partnership. Some of you definitely have had some concerns, okay, about whether it's a love relationship or a business partnership. You've had some concerns about this. So if you've had some concerns about this, then this is coming through. It's saying just to be sure that you're not putting you're not putting everything into it you're not putting all your money and everything into it you're not putting everything into it until you get clarity for sure that this person is on the up and up and that they're being honest and that they're being open okay um some of you it is a love relationship that you've had your concerns about or some of you this person is saying they got all this money when then maybe they don't Okay, I'm just giving you the different things that are coming through here. Remember, there's a lot of you. You're not all involved in the same situation. So just get clarity. Don't be afraid to ask questions and to, to look. 
We got chop wood, which is something I feel like you guys have been doing just in terms of like, that's the thing. It's like literally cutting out people that are no longer, you know, working for you, really kind of seeing true colors in people and knowing who you got to get rid of <laughs> or cutting people out or cleaning house and just really starting to see where things need to change and, and, and improve. Tell me more about chop wood for Virgos, please. Yeah, a lot of you are just really seeking more balance in your relationships, okay? You're like, is it been balanced? Is it equal give and take? Is it what is going on here? Are these people really here for me when I need them? Are they not? Um, because some of you are setting up some proper boundaries. You've, some of you have dealt with a lot of stuff here, okay? You're just feeling... I'm getting a lot of you are just exhausted too, okay? Just tired and exhausted. Um just generally speaking, okay? But some of you feel like something, okay, you've like, this is the wounded warrior uh, card with the 10 of swords. It's like, you're just done with the situation, okay? And you're, you're chopping, you're doing some chopping. You're doing some chopping and you're definitely done with some situations, okay? Maybe you've been feeling like people have been, I feel like you're standing your ground. You're standing your ground more on things that are important, okay? Um, because we got the death card with that. So this is about ending things. So a lot of you, uh, and also the 10 is the final card of just, there's no more after this. Okay. Except this. And then there's the rebirth. Okay. So you guys are really, really, really setting that bar higher on your expectations with people. Okay. And you're, some of you are taking on a lot of, of stuff from other people. Okay, there's, there's a lot of, of people are putting a lot of pressure on you, expectations on you. You're, you're kind of like, is this, like you're evaluating it all and you're, you're literally chopping. You're really literally, some of you are really working hard. I'm getting a lot of things right now. A lot of you are being put, put to work for, for a lot. Okay. Um, and others of you are just really seeing the true colors in people and you're just you're just really getting you're kind of done with some some stuff you're kind of done with some people or some situations okay and it could be any of these other ones up here um but it's it's like you're you're people are on the, on your chopping board <laughs> sorry can you tell me about time to go some of you, I feel like there's a job job that you, it, it's really, it's kind of like time up, okay? It's like time for you to go. Okay, so this is regarding anything that is toxic, okay? This could be a person with alcohol, drug problems, somebody that's manipulative, bossy, um, somebody that is trying to keep you chained to them in some way. Any attachments that you have to people or things that are no longer working for you clearly with this devil card sometimes they're difficult to let go of it could be somebody you're working with and financially tied to sometimes it's a relationship that you just can't seem to understand why you can't get rid of it regardless they're telling you it's time to go and leave this toxicity behind and i gotta tell you when you do do that regardless you break yourself free the universe rewards you the universe rewards you for leaving things that are unhealthy and toxic okay so regardless of what the situation is, if it's holding you back and it's unhealthy and it's toxic, you need to have the strength and the courage to do it, okay? Because when you do, somehow the universe knows <clears throat> and they reward you for doing it. You end up in a better situation. You end up whatever that might be, okay, Virgo? So if this doesn't resonate, check out your rising or your moon sign. Um... This is just from now until the end of the month, but some of you, it could have already occurred. Some of you, it could be coming up. I am going to be doing July soon. So again, if you haven't subscribed and you want to get notified, don't forget to click the bell. And for a personal reading, text me at 818-839-1116. All right, Virgos, all my best to you. Lots of love to you. Until next time.